I'm Greg Bohenko. And I'm Alex Martinez. We are Tournament Green. So today we're going to tell you a little bit about who we are, our product, and our market. But before I do that, I want to ask a very simple question for you guys in the audience. Utility bill, specifically heat. <laughs> you don't raise your hand, you're crazy because you live in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, every day, the new ways to you know, be in, people are innovative. They're looking to make things more efficient, produce products that are better and cheaper. Now, everybody here uses heat. And with that heat, you're producing a warmer house. But what's happening with that heat? Imagine if National Grid, you pay National Grid, imagine if National Grid paid you. That's what we're going to show you today. But envision this. With a, in a bigger picture. Instead of with houses, envision it with companies and bigger industries. Now, you guys may be asking, wondering, who is Termagreen? Termagreen is a research and development company that produces waste heat recovery solutions for companies. We've actually designed a prototype that's 17% more efficient than any other product on the market. I say on the market because we're not on the market yet. We're, that's why we're here. We found an idea and we turned it into something tangible. We're looking for the funding to make this, to bring this onto the market. We found the problem. The problem is there's this heat. It's being wasted. The opportunity. You can create, generate electricity from the heat you're already wasting. The solution, Turbogreen's waste heat recovery uh, system. Now, we have many environmental benefits. We have a closed circuit system, so we have zero contamination, we follow zero, we follow noise ambience procedures, and we're carbon neutral. Now I'll walk you through our technology, and what I want to do is have your attention be brought to this diagram on the screen. We're going to begin here in the accumulation tank, which holds our proprietary working fluid. This working fluid operates and generates energy at, low, at lower temperatures than anything else on the market. It begins generating energy at 35 degrees Celsius, optimally working at 55 degrees Celsius, and then cutting out at 149 degrees Celsius. So that's our niche. That's where we've carved ourselves into the market. We then we start the system by that fluid being pumped into this evaporator, as you can see here. The working fluid is heated up because that evaporator is connected to a closed circuit hot water system that is heated by our client's waste heat source. As our working fluid is heated and evaporates into a pressurized working vapor, it then travels into our expander, which is proprietary to ourselves, which turns our generator and outputs energy at 22% at efficiency. This pressurized working vapor then flows into the condensator where it's cooled by a closed circuit cold water system that's connected to our cooling tower that you'll see after. As the pressurized working vapor cools and condensates, turns back to a working fluid, back into the accumulation tank, finishing our closed circuit thermodynamic cycle. Now, we have a testing facility down in Rhode Island where we've actually built our prototype, but based on our manufacturing capacity, these are the models that we can create. That manufacturing capacity limits us to a machine that can produce 55 kilowatt hours. That being said, we have the blueprints to build up to 250 kilowatt hours that we could outsource to another firm. Here is a picture of our prototype that's working down in Rhode Island. We've been generating data, and the way we do that is by our biomass gasification burner that you can see here in the middle, and that was the cooling tower that I mentioned before. Waste heat is found throughout the entire globe, from coffee roasting plants in the rainforest of Honduras all the way to the skyscrapers of Manhattan. Our technology allows firms to increase their efficiencies and lower their overhead costs. The grid gives clients two options. They can be a producer or a consumer. Being a producer, the energy that is generated by this machine is sold to the grid in its entirety. Whereas if you're a consumer, the energy that you generate is kept within the firm. We offer our clients several different options for purchasing machines. The first one is a full purchase where they pay for the full cost of the machine and they own it in its entirety. The other one is we form an alliance. We have an equity share on the production of the energy of the machine 
or we can be an independent power producer, an IPP. That is, we use their heat source and we generate the electricity and sell it to our clients at a cost less than the grid. Several applications can be used from oven and furnace manufacturers, HVAC system manufacturers, and so on and so forth. The scale can even go as large as coal mines. You wouldn't waste this. <laughs> so why waste heat? Thank you. We are turning.